And lo and behold, look who I have at number eight, another Pac-12 team. <laughs> it's like the Pac-12. Okay, can we just be honest? Can we just be honest with ourselves here a second? The Pac-12 is the best conference in college football this year. Just take a minute and soak that in. They have the best quarterback play. Even Cam Rising is a great quarterback in this conference, and I feel like no one's talking about Cam Rising right now. No one's talking about Cam Rising because Michael Penix is him. Michael Penix is here. He is a legitimate Heisman candidate, in my opinion. And like I said in previous videos, it's funny to me how Seattle remains one of the more underappreciated, unnoticed cities in this great country of ours. Beautiful city, great people, great places to go, great things to see. Mount Rainier off in the distance, the Cascades, you know the whole story. Well, maybe you don't because there's a very underappreciated area. And so with the Washington Huskies, I have them at number eight this week. They dropped from number seven. Just because I think it's a little interesting that they let Cal, Cal a really abysmal Pac-12 team in all reality, score 32 on them. But Washington is playing at such a high level offensively, they can just outscore everybody right now. I think that this is an elite offense, and I'm going to be on the record. I'm going to put myself on the record right here and say I think this is the best offense in the country. Washington is doing things offensively right now that we come to expect from Ohio State. Think about that. Think about that from like a brand perspective. I always talk about like brand bias and how it's so firmly built into how we ex what we expect from and how we rank college football teams usually. Well, I try to be unbiased. If Washington or if, if, if Ohio State was doing things offensively right now that Washington is doing, we would all have Ohio State as our number one team in the country. And maybe I even have Washington ranked a little low. Type in the comments. I think I'm going to make a clip of this video. Also, shout out Washington fans right now for watching. I got a, I got a good amount of views on my Washington clip last week, which is why I'm going to clip this as well. Washington fans, you deserve more respect. Your team deserves more respect. The only thing I'm concerned about is your defense, like with USC. But unlike USC, you're not getting into battles. You're still winning firmly. That's why I have you ranked ahead of USC. And you're... I haven't made a pick yet this year as far as I, who I think will win the big the Pac-12, but Washington, you are right there because I think you can survive a shootout against USC, but I think you could also survive a knockdown drag out fight against Utah because I do think you're still a tough team on top of being a very physically gifted athletic team. Washington, you are my number eight team in the country. Of course, you still have big matchups coming up, but look at Michael Penix's stat line there. 19 of 25 for 304 yards. Take a bow, Michael Penix. Once again, that is hard to do against air. That is hard to do in 7-on-7, seven seven, and you did it against a Power 5 team. Washington, number 8 team in the country, and I think they will only climb from here. Washington, if you're not already talking about them, do so. They are elite. They are very good. Very good. And watch out, they will only climb up these rankings in my opinion.